Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey, following up today on one of our favorites, Movely Media, with Brendan Grunewald, the CEO. How are you, sir? Hi, Peter. Nice to talk to you again. It's been a little while, but I'm always glad to speak to you. 2020 was a crappy year, but you've had a good 2021. Well, I would say 2021 was a year that was uh, was pretty crappy for a lot of people. But I actually, you know, the silver lining on on that for Movely was really the fact that more and more people just needed to learn to work and learn from home and remotely. And so tools like video conferencing tools and also video content really benefited from it. So uh, uh, nobody wishes for a pandemic, but there certainly was a silver lining on it for us. And I think a lot more people discovered Movely and as a result uh, are using Movely thanks to uh, the new workway, um, you know, despite the fact that it was, uh, let's say, a negative influence on society. Um, 2021 has started well for us. Um, you know, we have, um, we're starting to, uh, you know, we've raised some capital recently. We just closed a round of capital and, you know, that's really exciting for us. Um, it's been a while since we closed capital and this is really, this capital is really for us to be able to grow our business. So, sorry, when you say grow the business, do you mean you're hiring more salespeople? Uh, you're entering into partnerships. What's the money actually going to be spent on? So, yeah, all of those. You know, our, our, our growth strategy has three pillars. We have our e-commerce pillar, which is the credit card, you know, consumers, which are and, and small medium business. Uh, that's primarily small medium businesses that are in our e-commerce business uh, pillar. And so we'll be doing a lot more aggressive marketing online uh, uh, there. Our second pillar is our enterprise and large corporate business. So we're definitely uh, and have already invested in that with the round we closed in November, December. And so that uh, that is already starting to see uh, we're, you know, we're, we're making changes there and going after that sector. And we'll be further investing some of this money, a large piece of this money into that as well. And then for sure, our partner strategy uh, is also accelerating and we're seeing more and more interesting companies that want to work with Movely um, and uh, cooperate with us in some form of commercial relationship. And I see from this morning's press release, paid education subscriptions have grown more than 300% year over year, and you have 3.7 million registered users on your education platform. On the platform in general, yes, we have 3.6 over 3.6 million users. Our um, education has always been a, you know, students uh, and teachers, etc., have always been a large uh, percentage of our users. But I would say almost exclusively on the free products that we offer, uh, because we do have quite a significant free offering to registered uh, and recognized education institutions. Uh, what is really encouraging for us, though, is that over the last year, as we launched things like an Edu Classroom uh, type of product, where it's not just an individual user, but where there's collaboration tools and back end, uh, back office tools and self administration type of tools, and you can set up effectively a classroom environment. Uh, and we've also added a video tool similar to the one we're using now, like Skype or Zoom or whatever, uh, especially for that, that target audience. And so we've seen a strong growth in willingness to pay from that, that target audience or from that market, whereas before it was pretty much uh, you know, free, free, free user business. Right. So I downloaded Zoom for free. I downloaded Skype for free. Why would I pay for Movely? Well, because you get a hell of a lot more, more for it. I mean, not only, yes, you can collaborate and do this sort of uh, conversation, but if you really wanted to explain something to somebody or to promote something, you're quickly going to be looking for that screen share and take them through some form of either PowerPoint presentation or video to explain or, 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 or to promote whatever you're doing. And, you know, what we've done is we've built a, I would like to think of a one-stop shop because we've got... On the low end, we've got some very basic features for people who just want to make a Facebook ad for their SMB. And on the other end, you know, if you're a high-end corporate with multinationals, we've got automated uh, transcribing, we've got tra automated translation services, we've got automated subtitling, uh, we've got text-to-speech and, and uh, you know, uh, speech-to-text, and we've got a number of advanced features like that, which you know scale all the way up to the large users. So a lot of those tools you know, come within one bundled package. So something, in a simple example as well, is something like screen recording. If you wanted to make a video to explain how to use your new web interface or how to use a new tool, um, 
you know, you could buy that software, but that's a feature that we offer as part of the subscription. So as we add these features, we are just adding more and more value to our product you know, without necessarily charging a lot more for them. The last time we talked, uh, we chatted about the Google Translate feature, which I found fascinating. It's near real time, like what, a couple of seconds behind, real time translation into other languages and you can transcribe it and have the text running across the bottom in near real time. Yeah, that's true. And what, you know, we recently put out a press release because we added another 300 odd languages, uh, voices, should I say, to the languages that we support. So we have over 100 languages that you can uh, you can transcode and transcribe, translate between. But also, you know, Canadian English or French is not the same as British English or French French. And so, um, you know, what we find is as people want to localize content, particularly our large corporate enterprise customers who are a key part of our growth strategy, you know, they want, you know, different nuances or they want different uh, types of voices for the content that they are, are, are creating. So British English may not work as well as in the States or as well as in India or as well as in Australia. So I would expect that the news flowing out of Movely over the next while will be mainly sales oriented. Yes, I mean, part of what we will do now because of the partnerships and the growth we're seeing in, in those and opportunities to work with other companies, you know, we will also uh, expand a little bit our engineering resource to take care of those integrations. But again, that, that, that is primarily driven by um, the need to integrate into third parties, uh, etc. So yes, I think that you know, what we've discovered and what we are very proud of is the fact that we are often uh, told that by, you know, we have the, the best product out there. We are not by any ways sitting back on our laurels and we will continue to ensure that we believe we have the best product out there. But most of the work that we're doing now is really about integrating into third party products so that our offering becomes more useful to our customers. And so that once they've made a video, for example, you know, what do they do with it next? Instead of having to download it and upload it into something else, you know, we can integrate with partners and that video becomes a lot more, you, our platform becomes a, a kind of a hub in the, in the, in the spoke of different uh, platforms that are out there. Nice. So let's check in with you next quarter. We'll see how sales are doing. Check on those yep. partnership rollouts. Well, we certainly are working hard, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again. Brendan, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. Stay safe. 